y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have the polish coming from Night Owl Lacquer, specifically for the September polish pickup, which is a fall foliage theme. I'll link the storefront down below. This will go on sale starting on September 1st and go through September 4th and will only be available on the polish pickup website. So I'll link all that information down below and I'll go ahead and get right into it. So I will have a quick look at a nail art at the end, but first I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this swatches. So this is Pining for Fall. I will link the inspiration photo in my blog post if you're interested. This is described as an olive green with a bright golden shimmer and packed full of several different shades of shifting ultracomb flakies. So it does really look like the leaves turning to fall shades, super beautiful. I'll go ahead and show you how it swatched on my natural nail. The formula on this one is not too thick or too thin, but it was fairly sheer to allow those flakies to shine through the layers and give some depth. So here this first coat goes on nice and smooth, really evenly, but quite sheer. So I'll let that dry and then show you how it builds up for me with a second coat. So here's a look at that second coat. I am going in a little bit thicker here to help bump up that opacity. I did get a nice sprinkling of those Aleve Ultra Clone Flakies there, but it is still quite sheer for me at two coats. So I'll go ahead and let that dry and then show you how it built up for me in three. So here's a look at that third and final coat. Again, I am going in a little bit thicker here, but this really pushes it right over the edge into being fully open. Opaque. If you go in thinner, you may still have a little bit of nail line kicking, but it's definitely worth it for that depth in those ultra chrome flakies. So here's a look at that completed mani at three coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. So those flakes do lay down nice and flush. I don't get much texture there at all. Here's a view from another angle in direct sunlight with a glossy top coat, and this is my swatch photo at an angle in that direct sunlight. For my nail art today, I'll be using these Aleve decals from What's Up Nails. They were sent to me for review, and I'll link them down in the description box if you're interested. I'm just going to take some tweezers and kind of peel them up off of that paper and then place them directly over those three coats of pining for fall. I did give a good amount of dry time for the top coat and the polish underneath and then kind of stuck them sporadically across my nails. For the inside of the decal, I'm using Moonflower polishes. These are from her stamping line. I'm using the Maga de Flower. I'm using the Kamoi River Caverns and also the El Yunque. So a red, a brown, and a green all inside of these leaves. So I just applied generously to the inside of the decal and then lifted the decal up with tweezers before it had time to dry to make for a nice crisp image. I did have to let these dry for just a bit before top coating, but here's a look at that completed nail art with a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. I also added a matte top coat on top of these, which I really loved. And here's a final look at that swatch photo in direct sunlight. So if you're interested in seeing any of these photos, I do have those available on my blog at sloppyswatches.com, or you can also follow me on Instagram at sloppyswatches. So thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.